ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome you back. already know what's happening. GSA Legends, of course, we've got to have the Legends playing, and right now the Legend himself, Cosmic, is over there. He's looking very excited, very ready to do some Super Mario Bros. And with me is Artemis on the couch. We're going to be talking about Mario. Are you excited for Mario? Dude, I've never seen this game in my life. All right. Isn't this guy like a Mario Maker player? Yeah, he's he's not very good at it though. <laughs> so he's not very really good on oh, that. <laughs> so, <True. laughs> so, uh, so so hopefully we see um something spicy here. I am I'm very excited. Cosmic, is there anything that you can kind of insight give us any sort of, you know, tips, tricks? Yeah, um the first thing you want to do is have played the game before. So in this th the first time all week, this is a game I have played before. Let's go. Sure. Okay. Quite a bit, quite extensively. Um, you know, most people know Super Mario Bros. It's pretty straightforward to follow along. You don't have too many complicated things to explain, but there are some some things that might not be obvious, and I'll try and go over them. Sure. Um, yeah. Uh, did you have any other questions before we start? I think that was pretty much my only question. Artemis, do you have any questions about Super Mario? I, um, I think I can figure it out. It's just like so they made this game after Mario Maker, right? Like this, this is one of the sub modes. So they made it a full game. I think that's what happened. That's okay. how all great games start, right? Like <laughs> Dota, <laughs> Super Mario. But I think that's how it works. <laughs> all right, um, I'm ready. If tech's ready, whatever. All right, cool. Let's do this thing then. So timing is actually going to start when I start moving in the first level. So, yeah, yeah, and yeah, we'll start with Warpless, and we'll do an any percent run after this. So, um, I'm gonna start the game, but. I'll like, still start the timer when I say go. All right. Three, two, one, go. Woo! Nice. Woo! Here it is. Legendary. We've seen it so much in Mario Maker. I got to finally see the real thing. So many 1-1 one -one remakes. And immediately cheating into the pipe there. <laughs> yeah, uh, that is something a lot of people say. They're like, this isn't warpless. You went in a pipe. But, like, you can't beat the game without going in pipes. So you just can't warp to a different world. Okay. That's fair enough. <coughs> Uh, can my game audio be a little louder? Just slightly. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and just get through World 1. It's actually like the hardest world in Warpless, and then I'll be able to relax better and explain more things. But yeah, this is like the hardest level in the run right away. So give me just a sec. Right, that is the tough part out of the way. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, there's like piranha plants. A lot of times you look like you might get hit by them, but they just have really tiny hitboxes, and that's going to go for some other enemies in the game too. And there might be weird moments where it looks like I shouldn't stomp on an enemy, but like if you're moving downwards, you'll stomp on the enemy no matter where you hit them. Like you could hit them from the the bottom, like kill them upside down. Really? Mm hmm. I don't get how that works. It's just, if you're moving downwards, you win, basically. Uh, I grabbed a mushroom. That's not just, like, for safety or anything. It actually is faster to get the fire flower. And that's because, um... You know there's eight Bowsers, but... Um... Each time you kill them, you kill them, like, touching the X and then the bridge breaks. But if you get fire flower and kill them with fireballs, then you don't have to watch the bridge breaking. So that saves, like, two seconds on every castle. I almost fell in the lava. <laughs> but yeah. Grab the fire flower. We got some quick power-up grabs. One of the reasons World 1 is the hardest is grabbing the power-ups really fast. And that was a good kill. Uh, wow. he, takes, he takes five shots, and you know, even though I ran past him, I still wanted to turn around and kill him before grabbing the X. Otherwise, I would have had to watch him fall in the lava. Um, so now you can see I have firepower. I can just kind of kill all the enemies in my way. Don't have to do any more of those pipe jumps like I did in 1-2. I can just kill the piranha plants. That makes it really nice. Kill that dude. Oh, I missed. Dang. I love killing that guy just for fun. Sound like IPK. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, coming up on the first water level. Um... There are, like, some people, even though fire's faster, they do opt to s play a small Mario because um, he's obviously smaller. Um, when you're twice as big with fire Mario, it's harder to avoid enemies, especially in water levels like this. But you also do have fireballs to clear them out of the way, so 
There, there's kind of trade-offs. So the only way to shrink is to take damage. You can't like manually yeah. just shift. Yeah, you can crouch and then jump and like keep the the crouch hitbox in there. And you actually can do that while swimming too. But the problem is you can't shoot fireballs while you're crouching. So mm. we don't do that too often. But you might see that at some point. Yeah, the fireball seems super plug. Just knock everybody out of your way. Yeah, and uh, all those enemies were in like completely random spots. I had to react like, oh, there's a fish in the way. Like, get him out of the way before I fall down to the pipe. So ideally, you're always moving right. Like, it's never in an ideal run. You never, you don't never have to move left. Yeah. Um. Only <laughs> 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 trivializing my game here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. There are some spots like 4-4 and some other places where you do have to go to the left. But, yeah, most of the time you just want to go to the right. And it doesn't matter if you're in the air or on the ground, you're moving the same speed. And you do want to grab the flagpoles at the top. Uh, that's probably one of the most common things people say. Grab the flag at the bottom. Like, we've thought this through <laughs> many years ago. You don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> um, grabbing it at the top is actually faster. Because no matter where you grab it, you have to wait for the flag to come all the way down. But if you grab it at the top, then he kind of jumps off the flagpole and gets to the fast the castle faster. Yeah, it's like if you jump off at the bottom, then you kind of rub off against that block at the bottom. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. Kind of how like a regular flagpole would work. <laughs> yes, you just jump on flagpoles often, man. I mean, somewhat. Somewhat. <laughs> all right, all right, fair. Mario inspired me. I'm not going to say that I was doing it <laughs> first, but simply started the flagpole trend. Nobody stands a chance in this world. Cosmic with fireballs. Yeah, especially these Koopas on the stairs at the end. They're kind of tricky, but I'll clear them out of the way. Got the snipes. Have you ever had it where, like, you're just running along, like, in a couple levels ago, there's just the Goombas, where you're running and then you miss tap P's, so you totally just run into them and lose your power up? Yeah, um, that does happen sometimes. One, one of, like, the hardest things in this game is, like, people all the time will say, oh, like, the game ate my jump or something. That was really weird, but you're just, like, jumping so often, and a lot of times you have to jump right after you land, so people will push jump, like, the frame before they land or something and just run right into a hole or right into an enemy. Mm. So, yeah, if you watch people who are trying to learn the game or even, like, experienced runners, that happens all the time. And, the, like, it's kind of below-the-surface stuff of, like, when runners are really good. It's just the fact that the, they don't miss there's a whole lot of jumps to potentially miss and they just don't miss that often go right through that platform uh you just can <laughs> you just jump right there and go through it it's, it's really thin and it just works oh wow, you just sniped those guys yeah uh this level is pretty tricky there's some potaboos that's what the jumping fireball things are called. Even though in recent games, like Mario Odyssey, they call them Lava Bubble, and they just, like, committed treason on their own enemy name. It's messed up, but... That is pretty messed up. Yeah, um... I should be able to sneak past this one over here. Yeah, got over it. Ooh! Man, Bowser is so weak in this game. Five shots, and he's gone. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take, like... 40 or whatever. Yeah, it's like 40 or 50. It's absurd. He just eats them in Mario Maker. They really buffed him up. They knew it's like, wow, this is a joke. <laughs> Swag. Oh, you can't hop in the clouds? No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> just tripped over the whole level. <laughs> so do you use visual cues, like any textures or anything for your jumps, or is it all just muscle memory? Um... Yeah, sometimes I'll look on like a specific block I want to jump off of. That's usually more common with small Mario, like when I have to do pipe jumps, because um, you're landing on like a couple pixels instead of just aiming for like one full block. But yeah, pretty much every jump, it's not it, it's not like I have specific visual cues for all of them, but it's like you're constantly just looking at like I know I jump at this spot. Uh, 
Um, so there's something called the frame rule, and there's memes about it. You guys want to go ahead with <laughs> the, the frame rule meme? Go go for it. All right, RMS, take it away. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Just straight pass it to me. All right. There's a bus? The, the school bus, specifically. So that's the way I, I, I remember it, of course. Uh, the school bus at the end of a level leaves every 21 frames, like every third of a second, approximately. And if you don't reach it, then you have to wait until that next 21 seconds passes. So it's, that's why it's often called, like, the school bus and the bus stop. Mm -hmm. So if he reaches it even, like, one frame light, he has to wait for the rest of the 21 fr or the 20 frames. Yeah, I brought it up there because in 4-3, you actually have to hit a specific part of the flagpole or else you lose, like, two frames on the walk to the castle. And you lose the 21 frames. But I got it. So we're good. Excellent. Frame rules. <laughs> that was the part where we had to go left, by the way. That, that was, was nice. That was insane. I've never seen that before. Oh my god, that's a lot of fireballs. Wow. Excellent maneuvering. Thanks, dude. Um, most things, like there's a whole bunch of random enemies, but most of the time you can just react to where they are and kill them. But there's fire bars in some of the castle levels, and there's there's no way around them if you get certain patterns. And the, the ones in 5-4 are the worst. But if I have a really clean run, a lot of times I can get there on a pattern that I know that I'll get a good fire bar on. And I think I should be on pace for that. Um, I'll know based on what the bullet bills do in 5-3, like, okay, I'm on this pace, so I know what will happen in 5-4. And I might be, like, slightly too fast, actually, so I might waste a tiny bit of time at the end of 5-3, which will look kind of silly, but it'll give me a good pattern in 5-4. That's deep. Yeah. <laughs> so there's there's a whole, whole bunch of stuff going on like that. The, oh, no. No, we might have lost too much the from run. that. Oh, man. Um, That's at least a frame roll. I think we'll probably still catch... The second of two good patterns. So does World Record have the flame power up? Yeah, um, it has to because it saves like 10 seconds. Killing Bowser. Okay, what we want? We want this first bullet bill to be right above Mario's head. If that is the case, then we're good. Dude, let's go. This is it. We got a good pattern in 5-4. So I have a quick question for you. So when you're, I, I have two questions actually. First one's more stupid. Um, so when you reaching the, the flagpole each time, is you just shooting the fireball swag? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's not a stupid question. A lot of people ask that. It's like it's just something to do. All right. You and, shoot the fireball. And the second one is just because I have less knowledge of this category and more of any percent, I always see like the uh, flagpole clips. Is that even possible as Big Mario? Yeah. Uh, just a second. I'll go into detail yeah, on that in just a second. Tense bars. The bars are flying. All right. Bowser is dying. Um, yeah, you can do flagpole glitch exactly the same with Big Mario. Um, kind of surprisingly, because his hitbox actually is like a, a pixel wider on each side, I think. But it still works the same. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is kind of like the dream run we've got going on. I made it to 5-4 in time for the good pattern, and I should know, because I know exactly what pace I'm on now, I should know, if I don't make any mistakes, the patterns I have for the rest of the level, or th the rest of the run, I mean, um, which could get me about a 1903. The world record is an 1859. We just barely got the first ever sub-19 minute run. It's been 19-something or other for like years, and then just this year, like last August, I got the first 1859, so that's pretty sick. That is pretty sick. How's the competition for Warpless? Um, it really like heated up this year. I, I got a 1902 last year, and then it just sat there until this year, and then like like three or four people started doing attempts and like pushed it like 1902, 1901, 19 flat, and then I got 1859. So shout outs to, yeah, some of the other top runners who have been grinding out. There's like GT Ace and Supersonic. So sometimes you flip around in the air. Is that just like a tiny nudge left and for spacing? Um, so there's actually, if you get a 1, 3, or 6, you'll get fireworks after grabbing the flag. So sometimes I'm wasting just a little bit of time. Like here, you saw that backwards jump. Uh, I would have gotten a 6 on the clock if I didn't do that, and that would give me 6 fireworks going off. So if a level happens to land on a 3 or a 6, you just waste like a tiny bit of time so you don't get that.
As in like 253 or 256. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to go up top there because I know where the patterns are. Bowser will go backwards. So I can just do this. Dude, he's a mind reader. <clears throat> How did you know that? <laughs> I just... Dude, we know the patterns. And uh, the reason that works is because of frame rules, like we said. Um, the level only has the opportunity to advance to the next one every 21 frames. So it's a lot easier to do RNG manipulation in this game than most games. Because you can only, like, have so many frames pass from power on to arrive at this point. And you're going to notice like some levels get repeated. Like 6-4 looked a lot like 1-4. 7-2 is going to be like 2-2. Two -two, and 7-3 is going to be like 2-3. They just got lazy. <laughs> I they probably ran out of memory, dude. <laughs> Tiny NES cartridge, I guess. But they did add in some more enemies, so there's that. That's pretty hype. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. I wasn't supposed to kill him. Why not? What, what would that change? Um, there might be a blooper at the end that gets in the way now. Oh, okay. So, like, if you kill him, then, like, there memory, there's more memory for it. Oh, go away. Dang it, dude. No! I told you. Okay, well, that sucks, but we can probably still get, like, sub-1910. I don't know. Now you get to see some intense World 8 action. I'm ready. I got my World 8 pants on. Do you have any pants on? Look. No. <laughs> I don't want to look at that. <laughs> okay, well, you won't find out. So how far is Warpless from being, like, dead? Like, how much how much room is there in Warpless for improvement right now? There's, like, five seconds. Oh, wow. Um, Which, I guess, in an SMB1 category, that sounds like a ton. Yeah. But... It still is at the point where saving, like, half a second is a big deal. Sure. So to save half a second ten times is insane, you know? Um, but, yeah, I think as time goes on, that's about where the limit will be. So this kind of sucks. Bowser is going to throw hammers here at the end. We're going to hope that he jumps forward so that I can just run right under him. But I lose a, a bunch of time if I try and jump over and I die, so I will just wait if that comes to that. Flame. Alright, now we don't have fire for World 8. And I will lose a bunch of time if I die, because there's no checkpoints even in World 8. Like, you'll restart the level completely if you die at the very end. But we're still going to go for the pipe jumps, because that's fun. Oh yeah. Hitboxes for the piranhas are so jank. Or is it Mario? Oh, oh no! Man. They don't seem that jank to me. <laughs> <laughs> that one connected. But yeah, it is just like the stems. They're pretty small. That is the hardest pipe jump. It sucks, because like, if I didn't die right there, it's unlikely I'd die for the rest of the level. Alright, so that's a pretty tough level, and you can't waste any frames in order to catch the frame rule bus thing. Zero frames to spare, and we got it. Perfect 8-1. Very nice. Thanks, dude. You definitely died, though, so that was kind of... Hey, <laughs> I mean, that was really nice. I enjoyed that a lot. That was a good 8-1. World record pace. If we just didn't kill that one fish in 7-2, we'd be big chilling right now. Made that blooper get in the way. I think that jump right there that you did over Piranha right after the pit is one of the scariest jumps in the game to watch. Yeah, you actually have to push left for that it's in insane. order to get over. And uh, the way this game works is if you slow down to walking speed, you can't speed back up midair. So you have to slow down like 
only a little bit, like just enough to get over the piranha plant, and then you can speed back up. If you slow down more than that, then you don't make the jump. That was the worst pattern, but we killed him. These dudes could kill me. Don't do it. Oh. What? You told him not to, so that was kind of <laughs> dirty. Yeah, that was pretty rude. That was... I don't think I could have gotten worse luck in A3 than I just got. So, typical marathon run stuff. So, this A3 is going pretty well? Yeah. About as good as our, the A1, like which is pretty hard. All the Samurai Bros were pretty good. Got him. That was... Yeah, so that's what I was talking about, where I'm moving downwards, and even though I, like, skull bash his foot, I still kill him. That was like a parry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, final level. So time will happen when I touch the axe at the end of this level. Uh, in room two, we're going to go for a pixel-perfect trick, which is called the wall jump, because you jump off the wall. Oh, dang, I missed it. It's okay, I'm doing any percent after this, and then I'll hit it there. No big deal. And this is a wrong warp right here. Well, okay, in Warpless we call it a alternate exit, because it's not a warp. <laughs> you call it the same <laughs> right. thing, a different... <laughs> I just didn't want to hear all the comments about it. Uh, yeah, all that happens is that pipe isn't the one that takes you to the water section, but if you scroll the screen far enough, then it does. That makes sense. It's like, not, it's like barely even a glitch, right? It's more like faulty programming. Okay, time. Sorry. 1956, still sub 20. Yay! With two nice. deaths. That's pretty good. Um, Yeah. I feel like most people don't have sub 20 with two deaths. So not bad. Pretty hot. That is pr pretty good. Definitely moved right. Yeah. Sometimes a little too far that, right. Um, until I got hit in 7-2, that was actually on pace for like fourth place on the leaderboard. That was that looked like perfect. That's amazing. Yeah. Much. So it just really sucks once you lose fire. Like the game gets way harder. Especially in World Eight. Yeah. And some of it was luck, so it wasn't really my my B. Um. Okay. Well, now we're gonna do any percent. Just five more minutes. Um. And five we get to card. do a whole nother run. Five minutes, man. Okay. So again, the timing is gonna start. Like I'm gonna start playing, but then I'll count down during the loading screen. So, three, two, one, go. Okay. So no fire flower on this one, because we don't need to kill any Bowsers. Time stops like on the last X, so we can just go and we don't need to get fire. Will you go Super Mario? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No bit strats. Yeah. Unless I get like... Well, no. We're, n we're not even going to talk about <laughs> getting down to one life, because that's just not going to happen. Hey, he's got three of them. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah. So this is the legendary sub-five-minute run. I recently did a stream where I did I beat this game 100 times in one day. <laughs> and I managed to get, I don't know, upwards of like 20 sub-fives that day. So I'll try and get one for you right now. No one's ever gotten a sub-5 in some kind of marathon or whatever setting, so... This would be a first. It would be pretty hype. The stakes are high. Yeah. Alright, just don't fuck up. <laughs> it's that easy, man. Poor lack too. Dude, are you no. serious? <laughs> Can I, I really want to restart here. <laughs> <laughs> Every speed run. I'm going to do everything like perfectly to get sub 5, but we're just going to die because we were like trying to get swag coins. I just wanted to uh, show off the thing e EasyScape talks about in his speedrunning swag video. <laughs> like, look, they can kill you. It is dangerous. We just do it for no reason. Well, my sincerest apology for killing the legendary <laughs> sub 5 for no reason. Hey, at least we got some fireworks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, because I was dumb, I'll go for Crazy Strat here. And yes. I'm probably oh, going to yes. miss it, and it's going to look really stupid. I know what you're doing. Aw, oh, rip. We got, like, two pixels into the wall. So instead, 
we're gonna do this. Uh, I don't know where this TV is actually. <laughs> this isn't a good idea. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay. I've never seen it done like that. Yeah, so a lot happened and we're in the warp zone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just need to get closer to the right side of the screen somehow and you can, it takes a little bit, but you can use the vine to get all the way to the right side of the screen. That makes complete sense. Always gotta get the star. Yeah, it actually saves time to hit that star block. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, the flag at the end of the level and the star share the same Y subpixel memory address or something. So. <laughs> Wait, there's an actual reason? Yes. <laughs> he sounds certain, certain, or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hitting the star block makes the flag move down a pixel at the end. I thought that was a swag. No, dude. <laughs> Nothing for swag. It all saves time somehow. This is for swag. Got him! <laughs> <laughs> I'll go for a bullet bill glitch at the end. That would be hype. Alright, give me a shot. Here we go. Big moves. Come on. Huge. Oh, oh, lame. Oh. Mega lame. It was so close. That was pretty close. But not quite. But still pretty cool. I haven't and done we got fireworks. <sighs> yes. I gotta do something cool. Go for A3 flag pull glitch. Which is like six frame perfect inputs. Alright. I mean, we gotta see something. This, I'm, this whole <laughs> five minutes of my day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't deliver literally anything. Jump that time. Oh, it was so close. Gosh dang it. That's the problem with this game, is there's so many tricks where, like, it's, like, several frame-perfect inputs, and if you don't get it, it's not obvious at all what you were trying to do. Yeah, it kind of looked like you were just kind of slowing down for no reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, you can skip the flag coming down, you can skip walking to the castle, you can clip into walls, but it's all really precise. Rip. Wall that jump's frame perfect. I might not get it now. I have to show you this. We're we're literally resetting the room so that I can show you. Nice. <laughs> Why does that work? Um. Well, you see, parallel. There, <laughs> there's, there's the wall jump. There you go. Yeah. We showed you. <laughs> and to prove that this pipe leads to the water normally. See. That one he took the normal exit, not the alternate exit. <laughs> yeah. Now that, now that it, we're allowed to use warps, we didn't do the wrong warp. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, all the warps in this game, or like loading um, loading exit, whatever, when you need to go to a different <laughs> entrance. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I've never tried to describe what that is. Like, um, like the farther you go right, the next uh, thing will Yeah. Load. All right, uh, time. Thanks, guys. <laughs> G. Dude, that was, G. That was good. That was hot. Um, Sub six. Let's go. Woo. <laughs> Sorry I, I died on like, the... This is the worst thing, piece <laughs> of garbage that I've ever done in my whole life. Sorry I died on the piranha plant, or I totally would have tried really hard and gotten sub five, but... That's I all tried good. to do entertaining stuff since I messed up. I hope you enjoyed it, at least. Hey, I enjoyed <laughs> it. Very entertaining. And um, we do have some more original 2D Mario coming up tomorrow. I'm going to be playing Lost Levels, which is the really hard sequel to this game. So... I'll try and do my very best in that because I didn't deliver quite what I wanted to in this, but at least you got to see the potential. The potential for the 1903 Warpless was there, and yeah. It was very nice. Well, come join us on the couch. Let's let's talk a little bit about Mario Cosmic. I would like to hear a little bit more about Mario. So, SMB1, what other Mario games do you have your eye on? Obviously, Mario Maker. You know, you're, you're dipping your feet in there. <laughs> I'm an up and comer, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're making you're making waves. I mean, you got some games. <laughs> There's something that happened there, but you know, Super Mario World. Anything like that on your radar, or what's what's going on? Um, I've like kind of put some time into other 2D Mario games, but um, I have some like really hard goals that I want to achieve still in Super Mario Bros. One and Mario: The Lost Levels. Mm. So I've pretty much been dumping all my time into those. And 
I think I can get the goals. Like uh, Warpless, I was saying, can go like five seconds lower. Sure. Um, even just taking it four seconds lower is like completely insane. But I want to do that. That would be pretty sick. Yeah. That was that was a really nice run. Thanks. Was the, was like the first major slip up, or like the first slip up losing the flame power up. Yeah. Like up until that. And that point, was, was just pretty like much perfect? pretty much luck. Like that wouldn't have even happened if I didn't fireball the the fish earlier in the level. Um. So, like, the fact that I even know that I could have um, dodged that is, like, deep, high-level stuff, <laughs> I <laughs> guess. It's deep with inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really hurts. No. Um, yeah, but once he appeared, there was nothing I could do, and then I died in World 8, so that sucked. But, yeah, it was, like, yeah, that would beat most people's PB up until 7-2. Did you hold back on any strats, or is that exactly, like, could that have been a PB up until that point? No, no, no. Um, there's actually like a whole ton of stuff that I didn't do because in world record like when you start getting that low you start working really hard for like a third of a second at a time yeah and so there's like a whole ton of like third of a second time saves that I wasn't doing like flagpole glitches and stuff like that yeah like a flagpole glitch or like super fast bowser kills mm. stuff like that I got you cool Artemis what did you think he died, man. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Is that what you think? Is that your thoughts? <laughs> that's all that's going on in your brain. You're like, he died. Like, oh God. My day is ruined. Just five <laughs> minutes, man. <laughs> Wasted my time. I'm just no. happy I got to play 32 levels for you instead of like three or whatever <laughs> I pulled off earlier today. <laughs> yeah, some of those levels are like a blink and then it's over. Yeah. No, it I was in World 7. I was like, how did I get here? It's been like two seconds. No, it was it was a good run. I really enjoyed it. Like tearing all about it. I never get to watch Warpless. It's any yeah. percent like most people, but it's very enjoyable. I'll have to stop by, watch some more. Thanks, dude. Hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, it was a lot more tense. I have not seen Warpless before, so that was... I mean, you went in some pipes, though, and it seemed like you were warping around. <laughs> Alternative <laughs> exits. Oh, okay, Twin <laughs> Galaxies. Oh, <coughs> but thank you very much for the run, Cosmic. It was an absolute pleasure to watch. And, of course, Artemis, you were just a joy. Just that, No, I wasn't. <laughs> a, a wonderful man to be oh, on the sure. couch with. We'll go with that. And... Yeah. We hope that you guys enjoyed out there. Of course, up next, we've got Super Mario Sunshine by the one and only Chillin' Dude. So don't go anywhere. we got a short break, and then we'll get into it. See you then. See you then.